There are five mistakes to avoid as an ABAP developer, especially those that are now getting started on their journey. Number one, forgetting to add a complete stop or a period. A complete stop or a period must follow every statement in ABAP. Other languages may signify the end of a line with other symbols, but ABAP uses a period. This is a common mistake many forget to do when writing their code. Number two, not including comments. Readability is essential and where it is needed, it's beneficial to put some comments to explain why you did something as well as what you did. This way, when a program is shared with another developer, it will be easier to understand and know what you were thinking. Having comments in your code not only helps you as a developer, but others as well. Number three, using the wrong methods when defining the methods code. It's important to remember that class methods are called using and instant methods are called using. Number four, forgetting to activate objects. Making sure all your objects in your application are activated is something we often forget to do. It can get frustrating trying to figure out why your app is not working, only to find out that one of the objects was still inactive after you made changes to it. Number five, modulizing programs. Oftentimes, we forget to add it in individual modules. This can keep your program self-contained and easy to read. Placing each task in its own separate individual module will allow your single task to be focused on one at a time. This will make it easier to work with and debug. I hope you found these common mistakes helpful. Comment below and share with us some other common mistakes you've done as a beginner to ABOP. Also, don't forget to share this as well.